morning everyone. Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps. Um, today, um, today what I'm doing is um, the first part of a Valentine um, special soap. I don't know if you remember uh, a while back I did these little, um, I did the Extremely Sexy for Women and I poured it in a mold with the hearts uh, Anyway, if you look up the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, I wanted to make a cute little cupcake soap to go with these little bars. I cut them into the little squares. Um, and so I'm going to do a little cupcake soap for Valentine's Day. Uh, the first part is what I'm doing now. Um, this will be... Uh, I'm going to take this, color it with the pink lemonade from Nurture Soap. And I'm scenting it with the Extremely Sexy for Women as well. I'm going to let it get to piping consistency. And then I'm going to pipe um, little hearts onto freezer paper. And those little hearts then I'm going to set on top of my little Valentine cupcake soaps, which I will be making as well. So this is the first part. This is uh, just uh, putting the... Uh, the batter here together and then I'll, I'll uh, call it batter like I'm cooking but um, then I will pipe the ro the little hearts and I'll show you that just really simple and easy I gotta be careful with these the shallow bowl that I have I don't have a littler one I suppose I could have done this in my pouring container, but uh, anyway, I do like the little bowl. So. I'm going to put my color in here. Take much, I don't think. And my fragrance. And try and trap that. I thought this would make a really pretty pink. I haven't used this yet. Doesn't matter if I get it thick because that's what I want. It's a nice thick pipe of bulb. I think I'll put maybe a little tiny bit more in. I don't know how, like I said, I don't know. I haven't used this before, so I don't know how dark it can get. like a nice pink if you can see okay. so that's well blended I'm gonna let it sit uh, thicken up and then we'll be back to pipe these onto our freezer paper so let me put you on on pause here okay okay so we're back and I've got my piping bag here in a glass um, this didn't take long to thicken at all if you can see it's a pretty nice thick consistency. So I'm just going to do a little bit at a time into my piping bag. And I'm not sure really how big my roses are going to be. Or not roses, but uh, 
my little hearts. So, okay. Put this here. Uh, so, let's see. Hopefully, you can see here. I'm just going to start by going up and then down. And then doing the other half. And we'll just keep doing this. Until this is probably more than what I need. <laughs> but I just decided to do a one pound batch of soap, so. Probably could have used a smaller tip on these. <clears throat> but I still think they'll be cute. The pink almost looks like a, a salmon pink when I'm piping these. Every heart looks a little a little bit different. And then what I'm gonna do, I'll show you here on the paper towel. So I want to bore you to death watching me make the same hearts over and over again. Is I'm just gonna take a little bit of glitter and sprinkle on each heart. So, give it a little kiss of glitter. And then we'll let them firm up. And these are what I'm going to put on the top of my little cupcakes. And uh, I think as well, I'll probably put a little uh, dried rosebud on top. So let me show you here. So they're very cute. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, then, uh, so I'm going to finish these up. We'll let them sit up and I'll pop them off. And then we'll uh, come back with uh, doing the cupcake soaps. Okay? So we'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. It's, uh, it's been a couple days since I've uh, done the little uh, hearts, the little piped hearts. And they turned out really cute. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, so now I'm going to get ready and do some cupcakes. Um, where's my goggles? For God's sakes. Oh, there they are. Blend in with my countertop. Um, so I'm not doing a huge batch. I'm doing a smaller batch. Um, and so we'll see... We'll see how this goes. I'm not quite sure how to divvy it up because I want to do two colors. I'm going to do a swirled base and then I also want to do two colors in the piping. So what I plan on doing is mixing my lye with my oils. I'm going to split that in half here. I'm going to color half with the raspberry mica and the other half is going to be white. And then again, I'm going to split them off in here for my piping. Then what I have left of the raspberry, I'm going to swirl into what I have left in the white and pour it into my, for my bases. That's my plan. So, and then I want to pipe the tops. Really pretty. I'm going to top them with one of the pink hearts, a little straw, and a rosebud on the very tippy top. So, of course, glitter. 
So that's my plan, and we'll see how it goes. So I've donned my goggles, and I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my uh, apron on. Above my little purple apron. Purple's my favorite color, you know. And we'll get started here. I'm gonna get my stick out of So I was almost, almost ready. I'm gonna pour my lye. as ready as I thought I was. Put that up here. Move that for a second. And we'll get started here. So we'll go to a Somewhat light trace, since I have to work with this for a little bit. These turn out really, really cute. I think they will. Okay. So just for a second here now. I'm going to pour about half of this into, the, into here. Supposed to be more accurate would be to, to weigh them, but anyway. So I've got my titanium dioxide. And a little bit of sweet almond oil. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump you. So we'll do the white. See how that colors. Put my fragrance in here. I'm just scenting really lightly with the extremely sexy for women. I don't want to be too powerful. Ooh, I love that raspberry color. tops on my cupcakes. So I'm not sure quite how much to 
pour off here. Let's see. So that'll be that'll be for our tops. Hopefully, that's enough. And the rest, I'm going to just do a in the pot kind of deal here. Yeah, just a second. I'll make quite a mess. I'm rinse this off. <laughs> here. I think I've got maybe too much in here. Anyway, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to drag it through a little bit. Just a bit of a swirl. And then we'll pour into our cupcakes. Let's see how much we get here. Oh, you know, this is, let me, um, I'm going to get another because it's getting a little messy. So I'm going to transfer into one of these. Be a little easier to pour. And I left the fragrance light, but it's still it's still quite strong. Very perfumey. So, see, it got muddy since I'm pouring too much here, but that's okay. It'll still be pretty. I think I'm only going to do the six. The rest I'll pour into my other um, colors here for piping. If I have any left. Came close. It was almost the right amount. So I think actually, I think I'm going to put this into here. Put it into the red. See how quick these thicken up for piping. I don't think it'll take too long. Give it a little stir. There. There. So there's that one. Give the white a little stir. They're starting to get thick, but they're not quite there yet. Okay. So I 
think we're good. Very pretty Valentine-y color. And I think it'll go really cute. It'll go really cute with these hearts, see? Both of them really it should pop. So I think I'm I'm think I'm doing okay here. So like I said, I'm gonna let these thicken up a bit more. Uh, and then I'm gonna fill two bags, one with the pink and one with the white. And then I'll put both put both of them into another bag. So uh, I'm gonna do it that way. I think. Or Hmm. Or I could do a pink and then a white and then a pink and then a white. Hmm, there's an idea. Maybe I'll do that. I think I might do that. It might be less messy. So, let me see. Let's snip this off. But you know me and piping, I get messy anyway, so it probably doesn't really even matter. But I do think I'll alternate. I think that'll be pretty. I was going to swirl, but uh, I don't know. I'm so indecisive this morning. I don't know. Anyway, we're getting thicker. It'll probably just be another uh, couple, few minutes, maybe 15 minutes. I don't know. But anyway, I want it to be really, really thick. It looks like I have more pink than white. That might cause an issue, but anyway, um, we'll be back in a few minutes, and uh, we'll do our piping on the tops, all the fun stuff, okay? I'll put you on pause. Okay, we're back, and we're going to start the fun stuff. I think we're ready to start piping. I filled my, uh, my bags, and we're going to start with the pink, just because I have more. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. I'll try and do this so I don't get covered. Yeah, I think we're doing good there. So I'm just going to go around with the pink. I hope I have enough. There's that pink. And I'm gonna just refill it since I'm, my hands are in it. So we'll take the rest and scrape into the bag just so it's, it's in there. I, have to, I do have a lot of pink. I might actually go around again with the pink because I have more of that than I have the white. I'll just set that there. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the white. See, I told you I was indecisive today. So we'll come around. We'll do the white. And I think I saved just enough white like to do on the very top. That will be 
under the pink, so that's okay. So I'm gonna scrape whatever white I have left now back into my bag, which isn't much, but that'll be for the very tippy top. And I'm doing that because I really want the my little piped hearts and the rose to stand out on the top. I can. I should have had another little spatula, but I'm working with what I got here. I do think these are going to be really cute. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and do another round of the pink. Top of the white. This is my last row of pink, so I'll just build it up a little more on some of these. That should be good. And we'll get our white, our last bit of white for the top. Just perfect. Okay. So, there's those. Now, I want to put a straw in each. Kind of off to the side here. So we're going to put that in. Carefully, I don't want these tipping over, you know. Okay, and then we're gonna put our little, we're gonna put our little hearts kind of on the other side, standing up. are adorable. And like that. Stay. And then I've got my little rose buds. And I'm just going to touch them onto the top. Oh, are these not the most adorable? little cupcake soaps you've ever seen for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. And then spritz. And we'll give them a little glitter. Because you gotta have some glitter. I am um, I used to have, I did a kids class on Saturdays at my shop and we got to decorate melt and pour soaps and they always had glitter 
and one of my little girls who came every week, she just, you know, she had to have the glitter. She loved the glitter. She always got excited if we had glitter on top. So, her name was Madeline. She's very cute. All my girls are cute. Madeline and Lainey. Yeah, all my girls who came. They're very cute. So, I think that's it. I think we're done. I'm going to rinse my gloves off here. And we'll give you a, a close-up shot. Uh, I'm just like, oh my gosh, how adorable. So I think I got everything done I wanted to. I'll lift you up and bring you over. And look at that. Are they cute? With the little rosebud on the top and the glitter. Just too adorable. So these I'll pop out of the mold tomorrow and get them curing on my shelves. And uh, at least I know, you know, I did, I did my uh, recipe for um, like a one loaf mold recipe. Which is like 48 ounces so and that worked out perfect for six of these so I might do another batch but I just I love how they turned out they're too cute my little heart Valentine cupcake soaps they're so cute anyway I'll have them um, I'll do a picture tomorrow when I un unmold them and uh, I'll put them uh, for pre-order on my website dirtybootysoaps.com there's only six of them so far. I might do more this next week. But uh, you can pre-order just to save yours. I only have six. So, uh, you know, I, if I do more, you'll see, you'll see it in the drop-down when you order that there's more available. But uh, these will be uh, $15. And they will come with uh, that little heart bar of soap scented in the same fragrance. Extremely sexy for women. So you have one for decoration and a little guest soap for your own use. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh. There we go. Nice shot. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I hope I'm not too boring. And uh, <laughs> time to think about Valentine's Day. Wouldn't these be cute for your kid's teacher? Oh, that would be cute. Or somebody special in your life. Just adorable. Anyway, head on over to DirtyBootySoaps.com and uh, subscribe on the bottom of the, the first page, that your landing page. Subscribe uh, to our emails and uh, you'll get coupons from time to time. Uh, you can follow my little blog. I don't do a blog every day kind of thing. It's just a once in a while thing. But anyway, um, subscribe. You'll get, I think, 10% off your first order. So that would come in handy if you're going to want to order one of these adorable Valentine cupcake soaps. Anyway, that's it for now. Everybody have a great day. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.